Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 23rd, 2022. Well, my goodness, yesterday turned out to be a much more interesting day than I would have expected, um, just heading into the holiday. We had quite a bit of, of data coming in yesterday that well, um, economic data that was not favorable uh, for the market showing th um, that the Fed still has more work to do. And the market started to sell off pretty substantially. Then uh, the only thing I can figure out, the only thing that I can point to that would have created the big bounce rally is that Congress passed a, a trillion seven um, omnibus spending bill. And from that point on, when the news came out that the Senate had passed that, we started to rally. So kind of an interesting situation here in the market. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, when we look at this chart, doggone it, we've got, um, well, kind of an interesting circumstance in here. Uh, noticing the downtrend here, we have held that uh, price support again in the chart and putting in a very interesting hammer pattern here in the chart. Now, taking a look at this, we have a nice little support in here on the diamonds that continues to hold. If we look at our technicals in here, well, we broke our 50 day moving average pretty substantially yesterday down over 800 points at one point to rally back to recover that 50 day. And now we're trying to pump up the pre-market here and get something going here in the pre-market. Now, one thing you will wanna notice is we're still underneath our eight exponential moving average. So um, that's what we call the T-line here in um, right way options and hit run candlesticks and a trade line. And so although we had this big bounce back up, um, we need more follow through. So today's going to be an interesting day to see if we can get a follow through to push on through that level or not. And there may be some challenges in the way ahead of that. So let's go back over here. If, if those bulls find inspiration today, let's see if we can push back up and test this resistance up in here in the chart. Um, of course, we could push even on through that. Well, if we can push up right into here, that'll be the interesting level to see whether or not we can break back through that level and maybe the challenging level here in the chart. So kind of an interesting circumstance. Uh, maybe they're trying to force the Santa Claus rally to you know push through into next year or next week. Um, and that is certainly possible but we're going to have to be really, really careful because the data points we've got coming our way um, could change things dramatically, both bullish or bearish. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, SPY, SPY also had a substantial bounce back up. And if we look in here, we had broken down, we tested these support levels in here and bounced back up substantially. But when you look at this chart, really didn't fix anything. Now, although we have this long-legged doji in here, um, more of a long-legged spinning top doji, we really didn't resolve any issues here in this chart. So if those bulls were to able to find inspiration in here, well, maybe we follow through and we push up into this resistance area of the chart. And if they can push through that, maybe just a little bit higher. But watch that carefully and closely. Um, I think um, nothing really changed here yesterday. Obviously, quite a little bit of emotion in the market. And it's interesting that yesterday turned out to be a decent day in volume. Now let's take a look here. We've got our 50 day moving average still above and our eight exponential moving average still above. And you'll want to notice that our 34 exponential is coming down. And there is this big area up here of that potential moving average squeeze. 
um, still holding resistance in that chart. So although it was nice to see the bounce rally, I don't think we fixed anything just quite yet. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful and cautious. You know, one of the things that I repeat over and over in hit um, right way options is that hammer patterns, and this really isn't a hammer, but hammer patterns require a follow through. A hammer, if it's placed correctly in the price action of the chart can be very, very important, but it has to follow through. So we'll wanna watch that closely here. And you can see the SPY, well, not so bullish just yet this morning. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our QQQ. Now QQQ, pretty rough chart here. As you can see, although we rallied back substantially, we really didn't rally back enough to even recover that low um, of just a couple of days ago. And if you'll notice in here, the hammer, um, not not all that impressive um, in that push back up. We came down here, we tested this price support and we grabbed onto that little price support right there and um, made a nice bounce with the Dow pushing back up. But you'll wanna keep in mind that if those bears find inspiration here, it really wouldn't be much of a much of a trouble to push us down to new lows on the year. So uh, keep an eye on that. Now, if those bears find inspiration, well, I would say right here would be a pretty reasonable push. And that's actually a pretty big push um, back up there to test that level in the chart. And if they can push there, well, be a substantial push to push us right back up into this area here of the chart. Now, again, technically, if we take a look at the chart, not a bullish situation here. Our um, eight exponential has crossed down through the 50 substantially. Our 50 is starting to flatten out and maybe even starting to roll a little bit to uh, the downside. Notice that we've got our 34 EMA coming down. So we've got this moving average squeeze in here that's pretty darn tight. Um, so even if we rally up into here, I think there's still some question as to whether there'll be enough energy to push us on through. Now, if we take a look at our IWM, well, IWM had a pretty good bounce back yesterday as well, like the Dow, kind of hammering here um, in the chart. But unfortunately, again, we really didn't resolve anything. We found a little bit of price support in here on that chart. But um, if those bears were to find more inspiration, you could easily see it wouldn't take a whole lot to push us down into levels down in here um, and maybe even new lows on the year in IWM. But if those bulls can follow through with a little bit of inspiration, then once again, I'm gonna say popping up into here would be the place that would be interesting to watch. Quite a little bit of price resistance right there in the chart. And if they are able to push on through there, then maybe a little bit higher here. Now you wanna keep in mind here on IWM, IWM really is the most uh, bearish of the indexes out there at the moment because we did officially make a lower high followed by a lower low. And what this rally back may do is just bring us right back up here into this downtrend area and continue moving us lower. Now I can't say that for sure, but we'll wanna watch this area here of price resistance if we do rally back and not just get suckered in, keeping in mind our 50 day is still underneath our 200 day here in the chart. So not the best, best uh, situations. And I will wanna remind everyone, and I'm gonna back this chart, these charts up and show you what I mean. I will wanna remind everyone that we still haven't breached the downtrends in um, IWM SPY or QQQ. Now I know there's still lots of hope and hype and everything else out there, but we still haven't been able to breach those downtrends here in the charts. And so it's pretty difficult to have three of the major indexes showing so much bearishness and um, one index, the smallest index showing bullishness and, and everyone responding only to that bullish optimism in the market. Something seems out of whack. Now, maybe that will end up eventually turning bullish. I don't know, but we're going to have to be very, very careful here in how we navigate this because there still is all of that worry about next year's um, um, recession um, um, situation and declining um, earnings events. Let's take a look at our VIX. 
Now if we take a look at our VIX, you can see in here kind of an interesting day. We spiked up pretty hard yesterday in the VIX, which you would kind of expect to see. It was looking pretty ugly there for a bit, um, but then pulled that back. Now what we have done in here is we've continued to hold on to this price support level right there in the chart. Now, if the bulls are able to uh, find some inspiration today, well, maybe we push right back down in here um, on that chart and then, hey, then we sink on lower here. Now, I do think that's a little bit of, of um, <sighs> complacency. Um, here in the market if we push down here with all of these economic factors in play but um, worth keeping an eye on and then if those bulls um, or if those bears find inspiration then once again we'll look for this resistance right in here on the chart to serve uh, to kind of restrict the the bears from pushing on through and if they break through that then we'll be looking uh, just a little bit higher here um, on the VIX. Now let's take a look at our uh, T2122. T2122 very interesting yesterday. How T2122 uh, was all the way back down here in the bearish reversal zone and even with that bounce back rally yesterday well, it didn't really change all that much. So looking here at the chart, what you can see is that we have an opportunity um, in this chart that if the bears find inspiration this morning, well, they, we know how far it can go. Um, just looking at yesterday's price action to the downside, if the bears find inspiration, if the bulls find inspiration, we certainly have plenty of upside opportunity here in the chart. And I think it's just really going to depend on the data here on the day, whether or not we find that heading into the holiday. Now you want to keep in mind that um, today volumes will probably drop very very quickly after the after the morning data. Lots of choppiness. Everybody heading out for their holiday plans. And then you also want to remember that Monday is closed. Uh, the market is closed. We'll be observing the holiday that day. So we have a three-day weekend ahead of us here. So how about that? So kind of keep that in mind as you're thinking about the trades that you take. If they inspire you to uh, do a lot of buying this morning or uh, rushing into trades today, then a lot of things can change over a three-day weekend and you might regret um, loading up on positions um, on a day like today. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now our T2108, here again, um, we had that big bullish pop in the Dow and that r relief rally back up. But notice that it really didn't improve anything here in T2108. So while it was nice to see, you know, that little bit of relief or that little bit of bounce and, and apparently on Congress spending a whole bunch more money, um, kind of an interesting situation that it really didn't improve the percentage of stocks above their 40 day. We're only at about 35, 36% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. So still some work here to do for the bulls to, to show a little bit more impressiveness and maybe rally up here and test some resistance levels in the chart. If we take a look at uh, T2107, now T2107 um, also improved just a little bit, um, uh, I should say, from the earlier in the day. Um, we did pick up past this low um, T2107 has been holding up better than uh, T2108 and you can see that although it it didn't finish the day higher it was um, you know not terrible in here on T2107 so looking at this chart you can see we've got quite a little bit of price resistance right here in the chart that we just didn't quite able to weren't quite able to break through yesterday um, in that level so I would be watching up here if those bulls find inspiration a breakthrough up here pushing that through if the bears find inspiration well then a failure of that level could be kind of critical and here again you know 38 percent of the stocks 39 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day is pretty tough to make a very very strong bullish case now our t2101 Kind of interesting here on T2101. It has been struggling finding enough momentum here in the market with light volume. And yesterday we had a little bit more volume and you can see it's ticked lower here, meaning that the bulls may have 
um, picked up the, some momentum here yesterday. So we'll want to watch that close. It is certainly possible. There's no reason to believe that the bulls can't continue to push on through here um, in the market and continue to press us higher. We'll want to watch that pretty darn closely here. Now, taking a look at um, our economic calendar, what I've been talking about here this morning is, boy, we got a lot of details here this morning. They they push some of these biggest reports um, into Friday, the last day ahead of the holiday. So as you can see, we've got a durable goods order report here this morning. Um, we'll want to watch that pretty carefully because we know um, the consumers have been quite weak and some of those retail sales and, and, and numbers have been coming in very, very weak. Our PMI, our manufacturing is way down. So watch that closely. I, it would be hard for me to believe that's going to be a substantially bullish number, but you never know. So watch that close. Then we're going to get this personal income. Um, this is the Fed's favorite number, the, the PCE number. And we'll want to watch that carefully here today. Um, the PCE is what the, the Fed really bases their um, interest rates on. Um, they need to see this coming down substantially. And right now, they're the year over year, they're expecting it to come in at 4.6. Now, you'll notice that month over month, we've got an increase of uh, 0.3. Um, that's a decline from 0.7. So all of these numbers, if we come in like this, that may actually provide some bullish inspiration today and kick those algorithms in, um, in high gear. So watch that one here. And then of course, new home sales. Now new home sales, we know um, our housing numbers have been awful. Um, the entire week and we have absolutely ignored them. Um, no major response by the market in any of these numbers as our housing prices continue to come down and demand continues to fall. So as you can see, um, looking for that decline here as well today. So watch that close. And then there is of course the consumer sentiment number, which tends to be one of my favorite numbers because it, it, it kind of all depends on how the consumer is feeling, um, how, um, how the market may respond. So big data points here this morning, uh, two of them before the market open, those are the biggest ones, and then two after the market open. Um, so we'll wanna keep a close eye on that. Remember, volume is likely to drop very, very quickly. Now on the earnings front today, guys, there really isn't anything to provide inspiration. There's only one confirmed earnings report for today. It's already reported, um, EVEX. Um, and a $7 stock, uh, v almost no volume traded in this thing, little teeny tiny volume. So not exactly a market moving event here today. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, just a couple of, a couple of things. First off, um, if this is that first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, leave that brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. I apologize the last couple of days, I haven't had a chance to answer those comments, but I did go through and mark them all read and, and read them all. And thank you so much, everyone. I do truly appreciate it. Now, um, also, I want to announce that the Right Way Options room will be open for everyone today. You can come on into the room. Uh, feel free to do that. However, I'm probably not going to be there. There's not going to be another class today. Um, and I, I want to say thanks to everyone who did uh, come to the open house and spend that time with us. We had um, eight hours of, of um, direct class time trying to help folks improve their trading and I hope everyone got something out of that. I truly, truly do. And so you can come on over to the room and um, chat with other folks and you know, it, it's a good chance that I might kick the mic on here um, a bit in the morning um, um, as we react to some of these data points um, at the open. So um, you might um, if you are interested, come on over. Let's take a look at some of these stocks and let's keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful um, in these charts. Um, 
we have a very odd circumstance here in the market with um, going into the holiday, lots of hype here in the market, uh, trying to hold the market up, and yet we have lots of warnings about downside potential. So first off, let's take a look at a few things that we um, have going on here. If we take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks, <clears throat> we had Altria um, looking like it was ready to go to the upside and really get bullish here, but it's kind of failed here a bit, pulling back to maybe a stronger level of support. And I can't really say that it's broken down per se yet, but I would watch this one closely. If this is going to get bullish, we need to get back above this area, hold a higher low, and then I'd be more comfortable to go long. But this also could set up very easily for that failure along this downtrend and start moving on lower. So watch that carefully here in Altria. Um, could go either way here in that chart. Now, if we take a look at some of the other defensive sector companies, some of them are holding in there really nice and strong, doing well, like Coca-Cola hanging in here. Although there's been quite a little bit of volatility, it's hanging in there nice. Still has a lot of resistance area above that you may want to be keeping an eye on. If you take a look at um, um, some of the healthcare um, um, stocks out there. A lot of volatility in these. Now, typically, these are going to be doing really well, even in bearish markets. But boy, we've entered a very choppy session here in UNH. And what I'm watching here in UNH is that we failed up here multiple times. One, two, three, four. You might even say five five times up here that we have failed against this upper level. We broke this price support here in the chart. And now I see this rally back up toward that resistance area. I think it might be um, an interesting idea to be watching this for a potential failure to the downside if that could, um, um, if it responds negatively to that price resistance in the chart. And notice that resistance runs across here for a ways. So that certainly is a possibility. I'd keep an eye on that. As you guys know, um, financials, um, I have been um, uh, bearish, um, thinking bearish here on the financials. Interesting day yesterday where they bounced down really hard and then reversed, came right back up. So keep an eye on those financials. We don't want to be in a situation where these just take back off to the upside and break through resistance levels. So make sure you have a plan um, if you're uh, short that trade, um, like I am. I have a little bit of bearish um, um, bias in this. But um, we also want to recognize that we have a pretty substantial uh, negative pattern here with a head and shoulders top, um, downtrend and price resistance above that happens to correspond right here with a 250 day and a 34 EMA, a major moving average squeeze here that um, should resist that from moving up and move on lower. But we'll want to watch that closely. Um, so let's take a look at a few other places that are pretty interesting out there. Take a look at stocks like Home Depot. Home Depot has been holding up really remarkably well, considering the fact that our housing numbers have come in so weak. But <clears throat> that being said, we're also struggling here. We rallied and popped through and could not hold that move to the upside, breaking back down here in the chart. So keeping an eye on this, we've got a little bit of price support in here. Now the question at this point is, will we be able to push back up here and test this little resistance in the chart and then break on through? Because if we can hold this level, break through and hold, then you know we've got upside in that chart. But you can also see that potential that we could either rally back to this area of resistance and fail, or we could just consolidate along this level right in here and continue to move lower because we have given up this upside trend. So interesting chart as well. There's a lot of these out here that are just uh, uncertain, uncertain. And unfortunately, the price moves in these are so big that there can be an awful lot of danger in these charts. Take a look at a stock like OKTA. OKTA, um, very interesting pattern in here where um, we, we've been struggling and struggling, struggling to get back up here and fill this gap. 
Now, I wasn't um, um, confirmed um, that I really like this chart just with this hammer or just with this bullish candle here. Now we've got a hammer and that potential here this morning that we could get a little bit of follow through here in that chart. So watch that carefully here. There may be that upside potential coming here at OKTA and then we can move on up and fill that gap. Now, if we take a look at some of the individual um, uh, financials out there. Boy, I think um, these are still um, exceedingly bearish. Whoops. For some reason I can't get there. Um, exceedingly bearish charts. Um, breaking back down, breaking support levels, trying to rally back up right in here, not being able to make that happen. I think there really is a substantial opportunity for stocks like BAC, Citibank, Wells Fargo to be looking for new lows here in the market. We know that the repo market um, situation, um, uh, banks are repoing tons and tons of vehicles that were purchased over the pandemic on that uh, free money giveaway that the government um, uh, um, did. And now they're having um, some serious problems and repoing a lot of those cars. Um, and the other problem is they're really not doing a whole lot on the mortgage side of the business. The refinance, free finance picked back up a little bit, but on the mortgage side of the business, demand continues to fall. So they're struggling here a little bit, and I think it could be a tough quarter uh, coming up here for the bank. So watch those close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day today. If you're going to be sticking around and trading, be very, very careful. Again, heed that warning of over trading a, a market heading into the holidays. They can be very dangerous. Um, lots of um, head fakes and whipsaws um, really generated by the low volume and the institutional algorithms kicking in and trying to get everybody inspired one direction and then pulling the rug out from under them the other. So be careful with that. Um, um, I won't be around most of the day today. I'm going to be enjoying my family. That's why I became a trader so that I could have that free time. It's been a great year in right way options, had really good year in profits. And um, I just want to say thank you to everyone in right way options that participated with us. Thank you so much. I do truly appreciate it. Um, you guys are, uh, you're like family to me. So um, thank you so much. And I also want to, for everyone else out there, I want to wish you all a fantastic holiday. Um, remember, um, family is important and get out there and, and, and enjoy that time with the family. Market will be here when we come back. Um, and um, I'll be spending some time, you know, next week um, in the room, but doing an awful lot of focusing on planning my next year. Um, even though I had a, a very successful year, I'm going to be looking at anything that I can do to improve, to improve my trading, to make next year even better. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Be safe. I hope Santa Claus brings you just exactly what you're looking for. And I will, uh, we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Take care, everyone.